All right, godlings. This is a true story time and a heartfelt one at the same time. Now, I hope I can get through this without crying too much. This is going to get a little deep for people, okay? And might strike in hearts of some people. Maybe some people have dealt with this before. And I don't realize it because I feel like I'm alone here. But this is what happened. I'm going to give you the Reader's Digest condensed version because that's the easiest, right? Okay. Once upon a time, I met a lovely lady. She was rather large, and that's okay. I didn't, I didn't see that in her. At that time, she was bright, and bubbly, and cheerful, and she was pregnant. She was one month pregnant with another man's child. And I got with her, and I raised that child as my own. Now, this lady I was with, I ended up marrying her. I, I thought she was worthy of my marriage, which I never thought I'd get married. I never thought I'd be a dad, right? But I thought this lady was, was, was worthy of my marriage. Now, I never bothered her about her weight. I never once bothered her. I, that was her deal. And I didn't look at that anyway. So that wasn't my deal. But she got with me, and I can look back at this, and I can understand why, right? So she, she wants to lose her weight. And she wants to be healthier, but she wants to look better, too. And, and she wants to have surgery. And I let her. Of course, I was going to say no. Someone told me. Someone actually told me, don't let her have that surgery. This happens. Blah, blah. But I don't like to bother people's free will. I like to do the opposite. I like to encourage people's free will. So I did. I, I encouraged her to have the surgery. And I was there for every step. And I helped her. And it went... And that's okay. That's okay. Because you know what? The way I look at it is that I could help that person. That I, I was comfortable enough. Most guys aren't comfortable enough with this, okay? Most guys will fight it tooth and nail because they're going to be afraid that their partner's going to leave them. Well, I'm not afraid of that. I want people to live their true, genuine lives, and I'm not selfish about that. If they need to leave me to go do that, then, well, I'm going to have to be okay with that. I'm not, I don't want to, I'll be sad that they're gone, but I'm more fucking happy that they're doing what they want to do. They don't need to stick around and make me happy. Come on now. <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, but anywho, so, but I, I, I encouraged her through everything. I helped her. I even shaved her legs when, when she needed it, you know? And, um, you know, it went a a you know, cheating, drugs, everything. But, you know, I don't want to go into all that, right? You know? But it's funny because that is true romance that is true love when you're willing to stick up for your partner whether it means them leaving you or not okay not to be selfish say hey this person needs to go but it's cool because i think that person that got with me you know i made them comfortable enough with themselves or you know because i didn't bother about you know it'd be one thing because I was, I was concerned about that. We go in the meetings about the surgeries, and I, I was like, well, you know, I know about, like, I didn't do the bootleg reinforcement. You know, I didn't try to sabotage her, her diet. I loved her. I, I encouraged her, okay? So I didn't sabotage her. I didn't tell her she was overweight to lose weight. None of that, right? So I was under the influence that, like, that only happens when you do that. That only happens if you like, hey, you need to lose weight. No, it still happened. I was like, oh, it was really sad. It's 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 really sad because I'm I'm really romantic, and it was really sad. Um, but it's still. It, I think it would have been sadder if I were to trap that person and try to make them n not express themselves. So I had to say.